Hi, this is Derek Jordan. Welcome to the World Fusion Show, where we bring you the leading innovators in world fusion music. Today, my guest is the fabulous Masamba Joe, who is a, a superstar in Senegal. He plays the tama, also known as the talking drum, which is a small hourglass-shaped drum. He has worked uh, in every country in the world, pretty much. He plays with Baba Mal, who's a big superstar over the world. Baba, he's played with Baba for 40 years. Incredible. And we just want to, um, he also was introduced to me by Tony Vaca, uh, and has been our host in Senegal twice, the two times I've been there, um, for our group, the Senegal America Project. Um, Masamba is a mesmerizing performer, as you will get to see later. And um, he's just a terrific guy as well. So please welcome Masamba Joe to the World Fusion Show. Hi, Mr. Derek. Uh, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. good. I'm so good. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. Um, I know you're going back to Senegal yeah. soon. Inshallah. And I'm so glad to get you in between on the, before you before you head back. You were born to a very large family mm -hmm. in Senegal. Yeah. Um, and uh, what was that like growing up in that house with all these people and kids? Oh, you know me, I'm a griot family. Yeah. I'm a griot. I, I'm born in the big, mashallah, big family. Yeah. Oh, uh, my parents this is very open. My father was have a different kids, a lot of kids, mashallah. But I'm, I'm born in there. I'm grew up there. I know. I'm I'm the griot. So are you like the oldest or the youngest or somewhere in the middle? Me, I'm almost in. I'm in the middle. In the my middle. Mom, yeah. I'm in the middle. Yeah. How many brothers and sisters all together? I have a. Uh, Three brothers and three sisters. Oh, yeah, so that's a pretty big family. Exactly. Um, so what inspired you to play the tama? Uh, I'm the griot, first. Second, I love I like play, I love play tama. But uh, we make the talking drum in the house. We make the tama in the in mm. home. Uh, all my, my parents will play tama. My grandparents will play tama. The tama is a long, long history of Senegal. Oh, yes. Of Africa. And we'll get into that at some point. Um, um, you worked with Baba Mal now for, you joined him, I think, in 1977? Yeah. Oh, my God. 40 years you played with him. From now. So, and <laughs> <laughs> 40 more, 40 more years. Anyway, Baba's a huge star all around the world. Uh -huh. And you, um, You've played with him like everywhere. So what's what's it like to work so closely and for so long with Baba Mal? I like play with Baba Mal, but Baba Mal is a I'm the musician. Baba Mal is a superstar. Yeah. Everyone wants to play with Baba Mal. Yeah. Uh, but God gives me good help. I play with Baba Mal. Baba Mal loves me. I love Baba Mal. Yes. We know each other. Very close. I help him, he helped me. Yes. Why we play long time. Yeah together. So I would love to go to our first video oh, okay. showing you playing at Radio City Music Hall, big stage in New York with Baba Mal and his big band a big playing band. a song called African Woman. African Woman, yes.
Oh, yeah. What a great show that must <laughs> yeah, have been. It was really good. Fantastic. So the Tama is the national instrument of Senegal, mm -hmm. right? Yes. It has a unique place in the history mm -hmm. of Senegal. And it was used in the past to communicate, mm -hmm. literally talk, yeah. over long distances, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about the history and meaning of the Tama in your culture? Yeah, you know the Tama, before no one play Tama if you're not Griot. Mm. But the Tama, long time ago, he made the uh, role of telephone. Mm -hmm. He sent the message village to village. Uh, every head of the town, every f head of the village, they have a Tama player. Mm. They have one griot in the town. Every, every, if something happened, the head of the town, they call Tama player, they say, oh, hey, to, I want to tell everybody tomorrow, like, if, if, if you have a meeting like tomorrow, yeah. I say, okay, tell you, t uh, I want you to tell everybody we have a meeting tomorrow, nine o'clock. Tama player, they come in. But Africa, we live in the round. We live in the round. The house is round. The Tama player come in the middle of the village. They play the note of, hey, like alert. Hey, everybody, tomorrow we have a meeting nine o'clock with the Tama. Why the Tama is very important. They do the lot of important things be, long time ago, before the technology like, like now. And I understand it was even used to warn people in older times, if the army, if the Europeans were coming to the village, uh -huh. they'd get to the village and there'd be no one there because uh -huh. the Tama player would have signaled, everybody leave, they're coming, right? So yeah. it, it's <laughs> very, very important to uh -huh. the Senegalese people. Uh -huh. um, so the other thing that I think people here don't understand is how significant the Tama is in the band. Mm -hmm. Like if you saw in that last clip, you're Masamba, you're right on stage next to Baba Mal. It's like just yeah. you guys, and then everyone is and, like and farther away. No, but and and when you play, sometimes Baba will bring the microphone right behind your drum mm -hmm. to make it louder. Mm -hmm. It's a sign of respect, but also because you function in the band mm -hmm. in the same way as in our rock bands, mm -hmm. the lead guitar player plays. Yeah. When the singer stops singing, uh -huh. it's time for the Thomas solo. <laughs> exactly. Right? exactly. So it's very important. So can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, you know, when uh, you see sometimes when I play, uh, Baba Mal, they sing sometimes, they stop to follow me with the Tama. Yeah. And first things, I make the I do the, I make the show up. I make, um, Baba they know I'm me, how can I make the people happy? Yeah. Sometimes we have a long tour, long tour, the other band is tired. They say, hey, Masamba, today you have to help us. I say, how? They say, you know how do you, how do you gonna do it? <laughs> you know how do you make the people happy, the audience happy? I say, okay. Well, that day, Baba Mal, they sing little less. I play little more, little more. To lift the, it up. To lift the people up. The That's people right. say, oh, wow, the show is good. You see the Tama play? Oh, you see the Masamba? <laughs> yeah. Why everybody, anytime when we go to play, everywhere we play, before the show finishes, all the people and audience know my name. Mm -hmm. But Baba Mal, they say a lot my name. Yeah. To, to, to follow me, the people see me a lot. Right. The people see what I do. Well, I know. And when I was walking down the streets mm -hmm. in Dakar with you yeah. in Senegal, people would run up to you. <laughs> exactly. Go, Masamba, Masamba. Right, oh, they're right. so happy to see yeah, you. And they, exactly. And it's, so you're known. You're pretty well known. Um, I would love to go to our next video clip. And this is a cool clip of when you were playing at my studio here in Vermont. And it's just you playing, you're overdubbing, you're uh -huh. Tama, and you're singing and you're moving oh, around. Okay. Let's I, watch I this. I want to see that. Let's watch this.
Yeah. It's, I love that because you get to really just <laughs> yeah. hear the Tama by itself. And oh, okay. It's fun yeah. to watch uh -huh. you. Um, so you have said a couple of times that you are a griot. Yeah. I'm and griot. a lot of people don't know what that means. So could you explain to our viewers, listeners, what it means to be a griot? Griot means, you can say like, dictionary of Africa. But the griot know everything about long time ago. History. History. A lot of history. All the story when you, somebody want to, when you lost for your history, when you lost where you're from, you go to the griot house, you say, oh, uh, my name is this, my last name is this. But the griot, they follow your last name. They tell you who you are, where you're from, why the griot is important in Africa. And now the griot, a lot of people want to do the role of griot, but it's Grio is still Grio to Africa. Right. Yeah. I have some friends, if they have a baptism, they they call me. Mm -hmm. They call the Grio people. They, if you have a something pass away, you call the Grio people. If you have a wedding, you call Grio people. But the Grio people have something, know something to, to gonna say to the people, this guy from this, this, this to this, from this, this to this, this guy have to be like this. That's right. Why the griot is important enough. So they know the history of the families. The family, all the family. Yeah. If you tell griot your last name, they tell you where you're from. Right. 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 Okay, that's great. Um, so um, you've kind of talked about this already, but I wanted to, if you want to say more about what you feel like the purpose of your music is, what it means to you to play for people. I'm happy, music to make me happy to play with the people. I have all my friends, all my parents, my parents play, but all my friends, my brother and sister, no one play tam tama play. Yeah. But it's important someone play in the in the in the family to carry that on. Exactly to carry that on. Tradition. You, want, you don't you don't want to lose the uh, tradition. That's right. Uh, why me? I'm very important with my family. Mm -hmm. But no one played the tama. If if no one played the tama, I don't play the tama. Now that we lose the culture. Now I carry the culture. I, I uh, teach some kids, some young generation to carry the culture uh, next time. Yeah. Yeah. That's terrific. So I would like to go to this next video. Okay. And you said this is from your CD, and this is a video of you in a village. It's in a village in the family. And everyone's dancing, <laughs> Happy. having a good time. Yeah. And you're in it a lot. And it had lots of Tama. So, um, want to say anything about this video and before we see it? Yeah, that video is uh, my my own CD, mm -hmm. my own video. is my my own group in, mm -hmm. in Senegal, mm -hmm. in the local group. We have every griot have a local group. Mm -hmm. All the Tama plays, my brothers, sister, Your my family's brothers, in it too, my family. Right? Yeah, all, 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 all of them is my family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. why I want to show the people, my, I, I hey, I'm the Tama player, but I have uh, some family he play like me. In the younger. And they, or some people they ordered me, and some people they're younger than me. Next time they're gonna be head of the Tamil play. Right. So you also have said to me that your purpose in doing music is to make people happy. Exactly. And that's a very simple but thing. But my, my daddy say to me, if you do something you're not happy, you make sure the people are not happy. But you have to make happy be yourself. Make yourself happy make first. Yourself happy be first before the people. That's happy. right. Yeah. And you certainly see that in this video. <laughs> Let's go check this out. Masamba, the boys are mad. Marichun, Dembe, Asa. 
So good. So is there anything else you'd like to share with our audience about yourself or anything you want to say? I like to share with the audience my, my, happy, my happiness. Why any time when I play, I make, I make the audience happy. Mm -hmm. We share the happy and good, good life. Nyokobak. Nyokobak, yeah. Nyokobak is Wolof, right? Yeah, Nyokobak and is Wolof. It's used to mean you're welcome, but it actually means we, we share, share it. it. That's right. Which is, I think, the greatest exactly. thing to say, instead of you're welcome, uh -huh. to say we, we share, share it. And we do share it. Thank you so much, Masamba Joe, for coming on the World Fusion Show today and being our guest and sharing the importance and power exactly. of the Tama drum That's right. for, for our, our, our audience. It's so great. Um, and now I'd like to say, remember, as we always do, think globally, listen locally, and support independent music.